all right guys so welcome back to my channel um if you haven't yet please take a quick moment to subscribe and uh if you can hit that notification bell so you can get notified as these videos are going to be coming a lot more frequently and talking about lots of drawing stuff lots of tips and tricks and um, lots of painting and everything art so for today's artwork we are working with ink a little bit of gouache and some white acrylic paint um, we are painting i guess we're ink washing on music pages music sheets these are vintage music pages and i like those because they seem to take the water a lot better and they look a little better the music pages are adhered together using uh, mod podge uh, i've put up some videos of, of this process before and the reason i like to do these is sometimes they're just a little good in between fun little artwork that gets a great response in between my more heavily involved oil paintings or more heavily like drawn uh, you know like uh, portrait art that kind of thing so they're just fun little works to pop out they don't take super long and you know i really like rendering i like the ink wash style and the watercolor feel to it um i did use a little bit of white drawing pencil to highlight some areas um, just to make those areas pop and I did take a charcoal and sometimes if I want an area to to be a little bit more defined just to draw that in and then I just smooth it out with like a, a light brush so I'm just switching between watered down ink to, to start with and I didn't want to start too heavy to build up the darker tones too fast but sometimes where I know I'm safe with it I will go ahead and just block in those darker shapes so a common mistake with doing these would be starting out with too much ink and then you can't erase or correct that and you want the ink to be a little fluid with some water so in case you fudge up you can kind of re-steer where you're going or realign what you're doing um, so one way that i find that works best for me is just to start with lighter tones and then just kind of build up yes it's a layering process and you don't want to get the paper too wet but as long as you let it dry and then kind of come back and then go over and, and just layer in your depth and detail, it should work out very well for you. So what I find tends to look best is just that area of building up the soft shading and then the artwork seems to, I don't know, have a more realistic feel, a more shaded feel, almost like a charcoal drawing feel. And then once I finish up with that area of the drawing, then I like to kind of frame the characters with some drippy ink. And here you can have some fun and, and let it sort of drip and play around and you get this nice feel. And yeah, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's it for today. But we'll be doing uh, a few more, so stay tuned. And remember to check back and subscribe.